the Silver Cross handicap hurdle is next, and this is a three mile grade three handicap hurdle, and hopefully we'll be able to commentate all the way through this one. And the top one is Sports Visa for James Shea, Bill Kinnan, Alex Cherry, Cuddly Cord, Graham Clutterbuck, Cloud Mambo, or Craig Allen, Sir Gerhard, David Hooley, Bragorn, Graham Clutterbuck, Ernest Stravinsky, Paul Rose, Harling Jules, David Robertson, Tawanarko Gift, Darren Thompson, French Vacation, Leon Van Rensburg, Equator, Paul Rhodes, Yossi Mate, Darren Thompson, Sorted Up, Ryan Tamasemi, La Paz, Midnight, Vinnie Gerard, Akane Byrne, Marty Leland, Climbing Shadows, Craig Beckwith, and Thomas Rogers have got the bottom two, Ring of Esteem, and Scenario Woodfire. So 18 of the men to face the starter this time. And the Decentish weather and away they go. The rain has stopped very short run to the first flight. And they're all safely over it without any problems. And Equator looks like it's the one that wants to lead. Jockey driving it past the chair. And on the long run towards the second of the 13 flights. We've already seen a race over this course and distance today. In the opening race of the meeting, the Grade 1 Liverpool Hurdle. This is the one where the horses are aiming for that, you know. Season or two's time, no doubt, but it's Equator who's the early leader by about four or five lengths to Akane Burner and Saucy Up, who take a share of second. One or two of these caught wide on the track, much bigger field in this race than in the opener, and don't really want to be caught too wide on this track. And it's Equator who leads by about four or five to Saucy Up second, and Akane Burn third, and then Cuddly Cord is fourth. Then comes Harling Jules, and then Cloud Mambo and Ernest Stravinsky with Bell Kinnan after that one. And then a bit of a gap back to La Paz Midnight, who just heads up what was a second sort of chasing group, although they're more merging into, into one big chasing pack now. And the one they're chasing is Equator. And Equator leads by five, racing down towards the second flight. Seems an age since they took the first one, and they finally get to the second. And you see them all stream over that one with French Vacation out the back, but that one quite often sits out the back and comes with a rare old rattle at the end. So don't tear your ticket up if you can't see it at the moment as they get over flight number three. Which they all get to the other side of without mishap and equator is a good five lengths clear then. Coming to flight number four which they again all get over without any problem. Equator in front, sources up six lengths back in second. Akane Burn behind that one has got a share of third with Cuddly Cord. And a couple of lengths back to Ernest Stravinsky, the stable mate of the leader. And another couple of lengths back to... Bell Kennan and Cloud Mambo. A purple jacket on the outside of Sir Gerhard is also in shot as we now go to the other side of the course as they all successfully got over number five and now make their way towards number six with Equator. Just trying to run out of the screen. Sauced up back in second, Akane burned third and then Cuddly called fourth. Then comes Bell Kennan and Stravinsky on the outside of that one, Sir Gerhard and Yossi Maith. Trying to get into it, climbing shadows is also pretty handy. But it's Equator. We're going to take them into this next flight. And gets over it with a clear lead. But only have about four now, and they're all successfully over that one. And Equator continues to lead. This will be the final flight next time round. And over it they all go. A little slow jump at the back by Brigorn. Ring of Esteem also wasn't thought perfect but they passed the chair again then and they run past the winning post and the water jump as well and then swing left handed and come out for one more circuit of the track here and Equator is four lengths clear of Sauced Up second, Cuddly Cord third between those two Akane Burn is fourth and then comes Ernest Stravinsky and then Bell Kennan then Climbing Shadows and Sir Gerhard and then La Paz Midnight then the Darren Thompson pair Yossi Maith and Tamanarko Gift are together with on the inside Cloud Mambo Harling Jules is trying to get a little bit closer as well Sports Visa on this near side French Vacation is making a bit of ground then um, Brigorn and Scenario Woodfire and Ring of Esteem, the two bottom weights for Thomas Rogers are the back two in the field as well as they continue on this long run towards the next flight then with Equator just three lengths clear now of Akane Burn and Sauced up second and third and they're queuing up behind Cuddly Cord and Climbing Shadows and um, Ernest Stravinsky then Bell Kennan and Sir Gerhard bit of a gap to Yossi Maith and Harling Jules La Paz Midnight's well placed as well Tapanarko gift wide on the track Cloud Mambo being given the hurry up on the rail and behind that one Sports Visa as they get over number eight and over number eight they go then with Equator still in the lead Sauced up and Akane Burn chasing in second Ernest Stravinsky being driven up alongside Cuddly 
called them Bell Ken and Sir Gerhard on the near side getting closer as they get over the ninth and suddenly Equator's got company and it's sorted up on the outside from Akane Burner then Ernest Stravinsky and Cuddly called Harling Jules making a forward move they get over number 10 they've just got three to go now bad mistake at the back by Scenario Woodfire but it's Equator in front from sorted up in second then Ernest Stravinsky and Harling Jules Akane Burner is struggling now back in fifth climbing shadows go around the outside but it's Equator in front from sorted up in second Harling Jules is third then Ernest Stravinsky climbing shadows Akane Burner now trying to run on again then Bell Kennan and Cuddly Cord and Sir Gerhard over the third last they go and it's still Equator a four at the back there Ring of Esteem's gone crashing full Equator in the, in the lead from Harling Jules in second a lot of these chasing horses are now under strong pressure and Equator looks to be trying to repel Raiders and he's rallying him a lead it's Equator with just two to jump Equator comes down towards the second last flight with a three length lead over Harling Jules Tom and Arco Gift now looking a big danger on the outside also La Paz Midnight and Yossi Mays trying to get into it but it's Equator with two to jump Equator's led all the way Equator comes down to the second last oh and he's made a right mess of it and surely presented the race to one of the others sourcing up on Harling Jules are coming through then Tamanarco Gift Equator's trying to battle back they come down towards the final flight then and over it they go and Tamanarco Gift Yossi Mays there on the outside it's Yossi Mays and sourcing up Yossi Mays sourcing up sourcing up on the near side Yossi Mays on the far side it's sourcing up and looks like he's going to take it and Saucy Up is now pulling away. And Saucy Up is going to take it. Saucy Up for the winner. Yossi Mate is second. Harlan Jules third. Equator and Lucky fourth. Then Tamarco Gift and La Paz Midnight and Climbing Shadows. And all the way back to Scenario Woodfire. And it's another one for Ryan Tamasebi. And Saucy Up is the winner. Yossi Mate. I got confused with Stable Mate. Tamanako gift for a while on the run in there. That's the one I was expecting to see come through the challenge. But Saucy Up wins it for Ryan Tamasemi. Yossi May for Darren Thompson second. Harlan Jules for David Robertson third. Equator for Paul Road. Surely unlucky in fourth. Run straight through the final flight. Probably would have won if it hadn't been for that. And the fifth placed horse was Tamanako gift for Darren Thompson.